Hi, my name is Shay Tsutsu. You can call me Shay for sure. And in today, uh, today we're going to be discussing an important topic with Mr. Bill Burr. Uh, links, for the, links for the original video will be down below. I'll be your residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So, it's, it says why men are paid more than women. So, uh, I mean, I love my profession and everybody at, put like this, every, everybody at my profession gets paid the same rate, um, unless if you, unless if you want to do more, um, more, um, uh, involved jobs, then you get like a, a, a stipend, like, uh, like an extra bonus to that, but Everybody at my job gets paid the same. So, um, I, I would love to hear this. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. Thank you. you are Thanks fine. a lot. How's it going? Great. Great. It's nice to be here. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. Let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? Love. You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? You know what I mean, three out of four marriages go right down the shitter, right? <laughs> if you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't going to open, <laughs> you'd be like, yo, fuck that, I'm not going. <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, I don't like those odds. I have a 75% chance of splatting on the ground. <laughs> But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it, right? They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? <laughs> Swallow sadness. You're going to get married and you do have your own business and you do have all of these things and you feel so inclined. I always feel like you should write out a, you should write out a nice prenuptial agreement. That's not saying that you're not in love with somebody, but write out a nice prenuptial agreement and be like, hey, okay, this is what I came into the relationship with, and then this is what you're entitled to. And I think it'll keep everything fair. I mean, if y'all if y'all stay if y'all stay married, and then it's no big deal, right? Okay, we will. Alright. Oh golly, I think I just lost all of my female audience. Swallow sadness! <laughs> That goes for women too, okay? Prenups work both ways, all right? It, it, you can have it to protect your money too, okay? All right? It's gonna be great! Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I love women. I'm just not compatible with them. <laughs> no, they got too much energy for me. You know what I said? They always have to be doing something. You know, like they can't like take a day off, you know? You can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just like see that open day. They're like, oh my God, let's fucking fill it up with shit. <laughs> Facts. Oh, they just, they just come at you with like one horrible idea after another. They have the worst ideas. Okay. They do, you have to get to this one. They'll be like, you want to go to brunch? You want to go to brunch on Sunday? And inside you're like, fucking no! <laughs> but you can't say that, you gotta keep her happy, right? Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Oh, I don't do any- uh, Well, I mean, like, I talked to God on Sunday, but football's about to start. <laughs> football's about to start. What, what you mean? Thursdays, Sundays, and Mondays are gonna be sacred days. You can't go do anything. Football's all, like Thursday night football, Monday night football, and then Sunday is all day. Like, unless if you're gonna go out and, unless if you're gonna make yourself useful and go out and grab some snacks. I beg your pardon? I mean, that sounded misogynistic, Shay. We can both go out and get some snacks, but I mean like, why do I have to miss the game if you don't even want to watch it. <laughs> Sunday brunch is stupid. There you go. <laughs> so what do you do? You agree? Yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. 
Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $52 for eggs? Now you can... <laughs> then we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs, you know, like, is that pesto? <laughs> is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus. <laughs> I don't like any sort of green stuff in my eggs. I know, controversial, I know, uh, you know, I like to stand up for that, but, um, and before anybody be like, well, what about chives? Like, that doesn't go in your omelet, that goes on top of it. I mean, like, if I cut into my omelet and I just see green stuff oozing out, I'm not eating it. That is disgusting. I was dating this girl recently. She was like really into like women's issues, you know? Because women always go on TV, you know, they say all they want is be treated exactly like guys. But if you listen to them, they don't. No. All they want is the good shit of being a guy. <laughs> They're cherry picking. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet, right? Like you just can start picking out stuff, like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie, fuck that. You can take <laughs> that one, I don't like that one. This is nice, that's yucky, that's icky. Come Back. on, people, you can't choose. This girl gives me shit. She goes, well, why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. <laughs> That's why I get the dollar more an hour. Oh, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. You hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out. Like, yes, he Fat. does have a knife. <laughs> Anytime there's a hostage. That's, uh, the, if you ever, uh, like, my significant other, if he ever heard a bump in the night, I'm, yeah, he gotta go check it out, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send him down there empty handed. That's, that's why we have guns. United States of America. He can take one of my Glocks. <laughs> I mean, he's in his own, but I'm just saying, like, why would I send him down there? Oh, yeah, go down there and hopefully y'all can talk it out. No. Situation, who do they negotiate for? Well, at least let the women and children go. <laughs> well, what about me? <laughs> you think I want to stay in the vault? With those 20 other sweaty guys sharing a bag of peanuts, you know? I'm praying to God I'm not the hostage who gets dragged out by the psycho with a gun to my head as he's asking the cops for a helicopter. Which I know he's not gonna get, right? I know he's not getting the helicopter. So now I gotta make idle conversation with the 38 to my head going, dude, go for a rent a car. I think you should go for the rent a car. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Where are all those feminists then? You can't find them. They had no feminists in a house fire. You can take the most hardcore feminist, you know, some chick right in your face, you chauvinistic son of a bitch, you know, a little short, little haircut, you know. Second those flames break out, she'll twist those little hairs into pigtails. Ooh, I'm just a girl. I'm gonna go play jump rope. Facts. No, no, that's why I hated that movie, The, uh, the Titanic. Every girl I meet thinks that movie's romantic. It's irritating. I don't. And I think that was really romantic, don't you think? No. It's like, no! It's a fucking horror film. <laughs> and they're always like, why? I'm like, because all the guys die. <laughs> See, you're watching it, trying to relate, going, who would I be? You'd be that chick floating away in the big piece of luck. <laughs> I'm watching it, going, who would I be? I'd be that dude when, like, the boat breaks in half, that dude who, like, falls straight down and bangs off the shit and goes in the water. <laughs> That's who I'd be. I'd be wearing a tuxedo, not because I wanted to, but you wanted to dress up that night. <laughs> I'd be falling. I'd be falling the whole way down going, I should have fucked that chicken first class. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm out of time. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Okay, um, okay. I'm going to say, I'm going to say one thing. I, n I didn't like the type Titanic as a movie. I thought it was too long and I also thought it was very 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 Not outdated, but I thought it was very um Not good. Um, I didn't like it because of the fact that the better is like so you throw away that big diamond ruby blue diamond thing at the end because 
why um so i thought she was not smart stupid for that are you dumb stupid or dumb huh and so you're engaged to somebody but you know somebody for less than two days you give up your engagement but gonna be whole, so i couldn't blame tammy you give up your engagement i believe that uh you you commit assault on a dude and then we're supposed to be saying like yeah she should get the door and i'm like dude i'm sorry i ain't sorry i think spitting on somebody is like the worst thing that is disgusting okay because i i don't know what virus or what disease you have so that is some of the most disrespectful thing so all of my things went out the window for her. i was i was rooting for her to pa to not be here no more i wanted her to survive but she didn't make it oh my god thoughts and prayers but i i knew she had to because it was framed by her and everything else so I really, I thought the Titanic was just a, like a horrible, horrible, horrible movie. You, you're engaged to somebody, you cheat on them, and then because they show this guy in the bad limelight for two days after you've been gallivanting and flirting with somebody, and then he's a little bit perturbed, and he's like, see, he's the bad guy, and then you sleep, you let somebody draw you nude you sleep with him somebody thinks that you're going to be doing something they open a thing and you you weren't there like and then and then you and then and then you what you let the guy die that you were that you were so in love with um and everything else well shay she she well the, there was no room on that door and dot 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 i know but i'm i promise you i remember seeing extra particles of stuff all around there okay he could have been holding on to something else too he could have held on to another dead body what do you look i just didn't think it was romantic all right so that's my thoughts and opinions i think most romantic comedies are oh <laughs> Oh, that's not supposed to be a comedy. Most romantic movies are just complete trash. Um, it it it's, it messes up a lot of women because none of those tropes are cute, and they're all they're all kind of uh, put women in a bad spot because they think that some guy who only knows you for two days and y'all only hook up one time would actually let you have that door, girl. You were basically. A booty call that caught feelings that is it and that is all that's all i got to say again my name is shay too sweet you can call me shay for short remember remember we gotta like go for this one and everything else 300 this is sparta so make sure you like comment and subscribe just uh put a comment down below so you could just say you like my hat uh for the algorithm and everything else um I really have enjoyed this. Trust and believe we're going to have football coming up. So, uh, again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, so long. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. If you going to spin out them close to me, uh. Bring out the can, would you post me, uh. What would you do to get close to me, uh. I blow the flowers, that's perfect. I hit it once in his wedding. I hit that ass in the back of the Chevy. Bust up a back, she let me. Then blow the gas like we at the Getty. She like, you gotta respect me.